The Juggernaut AI app is awesome. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Joe. First time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Really appreciate it. I know it's been a little while since my last review here. Had a few things going on, but I am back with the new one, and it is for Juggernaut Trainings, their AI app, which I think is actually done really well. It's one of my favorite apps that I have seen so far. So for those who don't know, Juggernaut Training was founded by Chad Wesley Smith. He's an elite level powerlifter, one of the brightest and smartest guys in the industry, all right? An amazing strength coach, trained thousands of powerlifters and other types of lifters, and he is just an amazingly smart guy, and the rest of his team at Juggernaut are also just as bright, and this app that they've created is really, truly fantastic. It is mainly geared towards powerlifters, but it gives you an option of choosing either a powerlifting program for, to follow or a power building. So a mix between powerlifting and hypertrophy or bodybuilding. It is not strictly a hypertrophy or bodybuilding app. So if that's what you're looking for, there's other options to use, such as Eugene Teo's app or hypertrophy coaches app. So those are geared more towards hypertrophy or bodybuilding. This one is mainly more towards powerlifting. But now that I've mentioned that, let's start getting into the app. And I have my phone here with me, so I'm gonna view it as I go along, okay? There's some things here that I will be able to show you, a few things, but most of it I won't be able to. The reason is for mainly ethical and copyright reasons. Again, this is an app that you need to sign up for. It wouldn't be fair for me to actually show you everything in the app, including the programming in it. it wouldn't be fair to the Juggernaut team, the Chad, uh, Chad Smith himself. So I'm only gonna show you select things that's not really going to give away but it'll give you an idea of how the app looks and will help you uh, when viewing this review and also just to mention here guys just keep in mind is about 35 dollars a month so it's not a cheap app either in fact it's one of the most expensive ones that i have reviewed okay so that is also something else to keep in mind all right so if you're willing to spend the price for it and i personally think it is worth the price but that worth it is objective okay it's depending on what you consider worth it how seriously you're going to be taking your training okay the juggernaut training uh, team they do online coaching with everybody you're going to be spending way more if you hired them and as an actual coach an online coach this is kind of like their more affordable option so you don't want the full-on coaching experience, but you still want good programming and good training to follow, okay? So when you put that in kind of perspective, then the price doesn't seem as astronomical. But having said that, it is still an expensive price. You can get pre-made powerlifting programs or power building programs like Jeff Nipper's power building program for around that same price or a little bit more and then you have it for forever you're not paying monthly for it but again do keep in mind this is an app so it follows your programming from month to month to month okay it's not a one-time sort of thing and it does adjust to your lifting and I'll uh, talk about these adjustments as we go along and it's actually really cool some of the stuff that this app really does do so at the end do I personally think it's worth the price for what you get and the program that you get, yes. And because of how much I believe it really will help you in mainly your powerlifting or power building programs, if that's what you choose, and the goals that you have with it, I think it will help you. But that's something that you're gonna have to decide for yourself whether you want to spend this type of price and mainly how seriously you're taking your training. Mainly also, if you're planning to compete in powerlifting or something like that, okay? So if you're taking it that seriously, then yes. If not, then maybe a different app or a program, honestly, might be a better choice in terms of the price. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into the app itself. So first, when you sign up for it, it goes over a bunch of different questions. It goes over how much you're willing to or want to train, mainly the frequency, 
how much you're getting sleep, uh, the type of diet you have right now, what kind of dieting you want to focus on. Um, it also goes over what training or how much training you've done in the past, how much experience you believe you've had, picking whether or not you want the ad to determine the type of periodization you want to follow or you want to pick that yourself. So meaning if you want to follow linear or uh, undulating or any of those type of periodizations, it gives you the option here to choose that for yourself if you want. So if you know a particular type of periodization that you'd like and like following and know works for you, it gives you the option to choose it or it gives you the option for the app to choose for you. Okay, so for kicks, I picked the app to choose for me just to see what it gave me. And then after that, it gives you then the option to choose a block, a bridge block, actually. So if you're just coming off a meet or if you just peaked in a particular program or coming from a completely different program and trying to transition into this one, it gives you that bridge gap. So you're able to make that transition easier. It gives you kind of like this active recovery phase. So you're not jumping right into another program right after you did a meet or right after you peaked, meaning you found your new maxes or coming from a program. It kind of makes that transition easier. So this is actually a really nice feature that it provides for you. Not many other apps really provide this sort of thing. Okay, and then after that, you then have to put in your maxes for your squat, bench, and deadlift. So make sure that you know what they are. And it gives you a little clue here if you didn't test it recently or not entirely sure. It gives you a little calculation for you able to actually estimate it as well. Then after this, it asks for your training styles, mainly if you're a high bar or low bar in your squat, if you're more narrow, wider, or medium grip in your bench press, and then whether you pull sumo or convention in your deadlift. And then finally, it asks any weaknesses you might have in those three lifts, meaning like if you're rounding over during your squat or getting it off your chest in the bench press is your weakest point or pulling first off the floor, directly off the floor is the weak point in your deadlift or other points or like the midpoint. So it's actually pretty cool that it asks you this too. So not really many other apps ask you this. In fact, this is the first one that I've come across that asks you these sort of things. So once you answer all these questions, it then generates a specific and tailored program for you based on the answers you provided to those questions. And then it directs you to your dashboard. So then when you're on your dashboard, the first thing you will see is how many days out you are from what is determined from your next competition or when you want to actually test those rep maxes, one rep maxes again. And then it shows you also a chart. And this chart is actually pretty neat because it shows you the phases that you're gonna be going along that uh, days. So like on my app, I said it was 192 days out. So on the first phase, it shows me as hypertrophy, then it goes into strength and back to hypertrophy and then into peaking after that. And along this graph, and I will show you this, okay, it shows you the actual, the bars on there, the higher the bar, the more volume you're going to have. And then you'll also notice a dotted line going along. So the more that goes up, the more intensity there will be. Okay. So it, just, it basically shows you the progress you're gonna be making and how you're gonna be following things along throughout that time period up until you hit that peak, okay? Up until you have either your next meet or when you're gonna be testing again for this. So you can keep track of exactly where you are. This is actually pretty neat and it does accommodate for variations in that volume and intensity. So you can see exactly that even without looking at any of the programming that throughout the blocks, the volume will increase or the intensity will increase. And then after uh, three or four weeks, it's then going to taper back down a bit, mainly a deload week. Okay, so it factors obviously those into it. All right, and then as you're going along, even just again, like I said, just looking at this graph, you can see that the programming, the type of periodization and the way they've programmed these blocks is done properly. And before I get into the program itself, there's also a tab in there on exercises. So every exercise listed here in the program, whether it has it listed for you, one that you're gonna sub in, it shows you exactly that exercise and the technique for it, okay? So uh, including a little a video on how to perform the exercise.
Now let's get into the program itself. Now, like I said, it is going to be limited in what exactly I show you due to ethical and copyright reasons. All right, but I will show you an overview of the day. Okay, so you get one day, so you give an, uh, so you have an idea here of what it overall will look like, like a single day that you're going to be following. So on this week one, on my day two, this is a preparatory phase. Okay, getting things all ready for me. All right. It shows you uh, an overview, and if you expand out that overview, it shows you not only the exercises, but also shows you the number of reps and sets you're gonna be following for. And if you click on info there, it shows you a description of that exercise itself, what it's looking for, just, um, you know, the technique wise, little video. So it links directly to that exercise library. And then you'll also notice there's a swap button next to there. So if you hit that, then you can then swap in or substitute in a different exercise if you choose. You can either select the one that you want or have have them determine uh, which one that you wants to substitute in. Now, having said that, most of you probably will know where I'm going with this, okay, it's how to make those substitutions, or it needs a little bit of info on directly in the app. There is an FAQ section in here, and I didn't go through every single question in an FAQ, honestly, because it was actually very long, and I'll get into that in just a second. Or actually, I'll mention here right now that that FAQ page does uh, does cover just about any question that you might have in terms of the programming or the app or anything like that, or even going over base, uh, basic principles like RPE or RIR and volume and things like that. So you have a very good idea. This is essentially like the booklet that you get with the program like you did in other programs I reviewed. Okay, so it covers just about everything, but again, exercise substitutions how to make those substitutions, how to know to make those substitutions, okay? It doesn't really go into detail about that. So again, I made a video on that that you can view right up there. So I have you covered, all right? But it would be nice for them to directly have something like that right here in the app so you know how to make those substitutions, which exercises you should be substituting in for it. All right, but other than that, includes a lot of detail on exactly what you should be doing. So you're not left guessing really at all. And then in terms of the program on this particular day, you know, obviously it's a lower body day, okay? I asked for it to do four days a week, so that's what it's showing me here. This is again, like obviously a lower body day, so I start with a high bar squat, all right? Lunges and a back raise. Now, if I'm honest, when one of the questions I asked is the preferred training style that I usually do, I answered low bar. Uh, for the squat, so why it's showing me high bar squat here, um, I'm honestly not entirely sure, unless it wants me to get used to that high bar. There's also the fact that I picked power building, not specifically power lifting, so high bar is more geared towards that hypertrophy, low bar is more towards strength and power lifting, so that could indeed be the reason why it, it told me to do a high bar squat here, because it will load onto the quads a bit more, specifically towards that hypertrophy. You know, so that would be my guess, honestly, but it's, not really the biggest deal in the world. Um, then having to, uh, after that, lunges. Uh, well, in the high bar squat here, three to five sets of six reps each. That's uh, perfectly fine. I honestly don't like doing high reps in the squat and barbell squat, um, just because the higher up you go, the more like you're gonna screw up your technique. So I think, again, being a power building, a mix between the two, this is a great medium, all right? It's not, Huge amount of volume right here. It's just the first week. It's a preparatory phase. This is perfectly fine. All right, and then lunges, two to four sets of 10 reps. Again, that's perfectly fine. And back raise, all right, three to four sets, 10 to 15. That's good. For, t uh, for a back raise, some like more isolated movement, you do want higher reps, so 10 to 15 here is good. I would have liked to seen, honestly, in the lunges, more of a rep range than a specific number. Um, I like it that way a little bit more. I think it's easier for people to gauge what they're shooting for here. You know, shooting for more of that RIR, um, reps in reserve. You know, that's more for picking weight. And then right there, when you click on that start, start training button, it brings you directly to a warm up. So it tells you a number of exercises to do to warm up for your day. This is great. <laughs> Damn bug. All right, so once you get through that warm up, it asks you to put in your current body weight. And then once you do that, it gives you a little questionnaire. How did you sleep last night? And then how would you characterize your mood motivation? The train, 
How would you rate your diet in the last 24 hours? Do you feel strong and well recovered today? And then how's your body feeling, mainly in specific muscle groups? Okay, so once you answer all those things, it'll actually kind of tailor the program a little bit more specifically for that day, okay? So then once you answer all that, it then starts the workout, okay? So in that, it then shows you again the same uh, number of reps and sets, but it shows you exactly the weights that you need to be using. There's no uh, really any guessing here, okay? So, and also gives you a little space to write in the notes, okay? So let's say it didn't go that well, or still working on a technique. You can write it in right there. So in terms of the high bar squat here, shows the weight exactly that you should be doing. When it comes to the other two exercises, lunges and, R, um, lunges and back races, it gives you an RPE. So in this first week, it's an eight RPE, all right? That's fairly high for an RPE, especially in the first week for preparatory. Um, I don't think there's any issue with that or anything, but um, maybe should have started around six or seven around there instead of jumping right to eight uh, for the very first week, okay, especially for a preparatory phase. But, you know, it's not the biggest issue in the world here. I think an eight RPE should be fine. All right, so then once you follow all that, all right, then you're done with the workout. So that's how a general day will go, what it'll look like, okay? Um, not able to show you the other days. I don't want to get into it too much again because of the reasons that I said. So, but the programming overall, guys, is looks very similar to that for the other days, okay? So you're going to be getting exactly what you need to follow. The programming itself in terms of the exercise selection, the number of reps, the RPEs it shows in, is good, okay? You're not gonna have really any issues with it. It's not like that Arnold program that I just reviewed, all right? No, this is done by people who knew exactly what they're doing for programming, for training people, all the people that they have trained. So you're not really gonna have any issue what they included, you're not going to be left guessing at all. You're going to be knowing exactly what you're doing, all right? And there's also a Facebook group here for you to join, a private Facebook group. So if you have any questions or anything, you can ask it right in there and other members can answer it. Or Chad Smith himself and the other coaches are on there and then answer it for you as well. So overall, guys, I actually really did like this app, okay? It gives you pretty much everything that you need, all right? You're gonna understand the principles, I think, fairly well, as long as you go through that FAQ page thoroughly, all right? Um, maybe directly in the app itself, they should have included some stuff that honestly would have been nice, some videos um, explaining things, but having said that, that's what their YouTube channel is for. So if you go on there, you should be able to understand and learn a lot of the principles that are pretty much every principle that you need to know, as long as you thoroughly watch it. You know, it's the same like going on to Renaissance Periodization's YouTube, okay, learning all the principles for hypertrophy there. Theirs is more towards powerlifting or power building, okay, so you shouldn't have an issue. Uh, they should have written a little thing there in their app, I think, saying go to our YouTube channel or linking directly to it so you know that uh, you can learn a lot of the principles there instead of kind of left guessing or um, not knowing that they have the YouTube channel there. So that would honestly would have been a little nice. But other than that, guys, I think it was done uh, very well. You're going to make progress on this when the programming is done very, very well exactly what they include every single day like there you'll be able to track your progress you know exactly what you're doing the weight that you should be shooting for all right you're able to record it no problem uh, no problem and it gives you exactly the path that you're going to be following here from every single week so by the time you do get to that peaking phase or to get right up to your meet or testing uh, day you'll be ready to go, right? So uh, if you are looking for something that's, again, below that actual full-on online coaching, something that's a little bit more geared towards um, or a little bit above that pre-made type of programming, this is a great app to go for. Um, you're going to enjoy and I think make great progress on it. So my final score for this is going to be a 9.5 out of 10. It really is great. The only thing is for those exercise substitutions, how to make them, that would have been nice. And also there's a couple things, one or two things in the program, like on that preparatory week, an RPE of eight starting right in that first preparatory, maybe a little bit too aggressive for my own taste or my own personal opinion, but 
it's not that big of an issue, so I'm not really going to deduct really a point for it, just something to note for. Um, and just also including a section, a little bit more videos directly in the app. You know, like Eugene Teo or Hypertrophy Coach, those guys include tons of videos for you to watch directly in the app itself. So including that here in the app itself would have been nice instead of leaving it all right on their YouTube channel. But not the biggest thing in the world. Just go to your YouTube channel and you'll be able to learn pretty much everything that you need. So um, that is my thoughts here on the app, guys. Again, really like it. I think you will too if you're geared towards powerlifting or power building. So definitely give it a shot if you can think that the price is worth it for you. And, uh, you know, I think that you will make good progress. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that review for today. I will see you guys next week.